Hi beauties, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Jenny Sieber, and today we are going to be talking about diaper bags. What's in my diaper bag, what my diaper bag is, all of the fun stuff with my diaper bags. So, if you'd like to see this video, please just keep on watching. So let me start off by showing you my original diaper bag. This is the first diaper bag I bought. Um, I just really wanted a diaper bag that would work for um, my husband and I both because I figured we'd both be carrying it. But honestly, I carry the diaper bag 99% of the time. I don't, I can't remember a time that he's carried the diaper bag except for like maybe out of a rush on or something. I guess there was one time he took Tegan to the store by himself and he did take the diaper bag. Um, but he probably didn't carry it inside. He just had it in the vehicle just in case he needed it, you know? So, anyways, this was the original diaper bag because I thought it was, you know, kind of unisex. This is my new diaper bag because I wanted something that will work for a purse as well as a diaper bag. I can just use it for both all the time. If I'm going to work, I'll take it with me. If I'm going out with the baby, take it with me. I just always have what I need in one bag because that's the thing with the other diaper bag is I didn't want to use it as a purse, you know? So I was constantly like taking my wallet out of my purse, putting in the diaper bag whenever we go out, and then I'd have to remember to put it back in my purse for when I go to work because the baby stays at home with my mother-in-law. And yeah, I just wanted a bag that all around worked for everybody. So I will keep the other diaper bag here at the house in case my mother-in-law needs to take Tegan out while I'm at work. But this bag that I currently have will just be my everyday bag. I will have baby stuff and my stuff and everything all in one. And it's so cute. So this bag is from Amazon. It is around $50. It's a little less than $50. But it is really cute and it is supposed to be like... Well, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it is kind of a dupe for the Fawn Design bags. I don't know if you've seen those. They're around $170, and this is the Miss Fong bag off Amazon, and it is less than $50. I will link the other bag that I originally bought. I'll link that down below as well. It's from Amazon. It was like 30 between $30 and $40 probably. Um, I'll link that below in case you are interested in that one, though. But this is the one I'm really going to be talking about today. Um... So as you can see, it is a fairly large bag. It has pockets everywhere. Three pockets on the outside plus these little zipper pockets. Then you've got your pocket here in the back. It comes with backpack straps and also a side like messenger bag type strap. Um, I just leave them all attached all the time because I find myself switching between the strap that I want to use depending on what I'm doing. So. It is a rather large bag, and before I put anything in it, I'll just kind of show you what she looks like. Okay, so as far as the inside goes, there are many, many compartments, just little compartments all around. The two on the sides have like that insulated type compartment. Sorry, I have makeup on my hand. I did a makeup video earlier, um, and then you have your zipper pouch here. You got a zipper pouch back here, a zipper pouch up at the top here, um, and then you have the back pouch. I didn't open it, which also came with a changing pad. It's a pretty normal changing pad, nothing crazy, just a basic changing mat. So that is a basic look at the bag. You have your little key holder thing here on the inside so your keys don't get lost in the ginormous bag that it is. You've got all these pockets. It's very functional for sure. So let's go ahead and get into what I keep inside. So if you don't know, my baby is 11 months old. So this bag will have obviously things that I need for an 11 month old as opposed to like a newborn. So just keep that in mind as I'm going through the bag. Um, but anyways, so I showed you the changing pad. Like I said, it's just a basic changing pad. Pretty plain, pretty simple, but it does its job. I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm sure it does its job. So I like to keep that here in the back pouch. So then I already have some of my um, 
like stuff that I would keep in a purse already in here. So this front zipper pouch here, I don't know if you can see in it, but I just keep random like makeup products, like lipsticks and stuff that I will use here and there. I keep my scent birds in there. Um, really just kind of odd and end makeup items that I like to keep on me at all times. On one of the inner zipper pouches, I just keep pads and tampons and like pills that sometimes I'll take and Tums and stuff. I just keep in my checkbooks um, and a pair of my husband's contacts. I'm not gonna like show you everything in there. But basically that's just in one of the little zipper pouches on the inside right here. The only other thing that I keep in there that is not for Tegan is just my wallet, obviously pretty important. So that goes in there. Oh, and deodorant because you always need some deodorant on you. Okay, and then the thing that I like to keep at the very bottom of the bag is just an extra outfit for Tegan. Just something easy to throw on in case we have a mishap, a blowout while we're out and about. So just keep an outfit down at the bottom of the bag for emergencies. Then I keep our cloth diaper, which we use for a burp rag. Um, I keep this in the bag. I haven't had to use it in a long time, but it is helpful for messes if I need to clean anything up. So I keep that just in one of the little inner pouches. Okay, and then I obviously keep wipes and diapers. I use Love's diapers. I actually think they're really good diapers. Um, and then I use water wipes, and I love water wipes. They're excellent, excellent wipes. So usually I'll just keep the wipes here on like this outer pocket, tuck them in there. And then the diapers I actually keep in the insulated pocket on the inside because it's one of the bigger pockets on the inside. Um, obviously you don't need to insulate diapers, but like I said, it's one of the bigger pockets so it holds the diapers really well. I don't really like putting the diapers on the outside of the bag because I don't want diaper, like the tops of the diapers sticking out or anything. So I like to keep those on the inside of the bag. And then I keep hand sanitizer. I also just put it in one of the inner pouches inside the bag. I keep a bottle, which is supposed to have a lid on it. So I'll have to find that. <laughs> But I keep a bottle with a lid in here just in case we need to make a bottle while we're out. I also keep her formula in this little container. Um, I breastfeed as well as some formula feed. We supplement. So I like to keep some formula on us just in case we need it. And then I usually keep a container with water in it. Honestly, I'm probably going to stop doing this because now Tegan will drink a bottle without it being warmed up. The reason I carried this is because I could warm up the water before we left, put it in this container, and then carry it with us and keep the water warm for hours and hours until I needed the bottle. Um, but quite honestly, she does really well with just plain old lukewarm water. Nothing that's been in the fridge, but you know, lukewarm water it mixed with her formula and she drinks it really well. So I probably will stop carrying this, but this is a good tip for anybody who has a baby that's fussy with needing a warm bottle. This is a good idea and it doesn't, you could probably get a smaller version of this, but this is just one that I happen to have. Okay, and this is like a recent find. Um, I saw Milena Ciciotti talk about these munchy mats. I got these off Amazon as well. Anything that I can link down below, I will try to do that. I'm very bad about doing that, but I promise I will try. But um, anyways, these mats, they're like, it comes with 20 in a pack, so this pack has 20 mats in it. And basically, it's just a mat you can lay on the table in front of your baby whenever you're out to eat, and you can like set their food on this little mat and kind of contain their mess to that mat. Um, I find it to be easier because we do baby led weaning and I'll just throw her some food on that mat and that way she's not touching the table, not setting her food on the table, who knows where that table's been, who knows what's been touching that table, you know what I mean? So um, yes, I like to use these munchie mats and they're actually pretty good. I, I've only used one but I really liked it now that we're quarantined I haven't been out and about anywhere with her obviously. So munchie mats. And I like to keep these munchie mats in this big back zipper right here. I feel like they're 
that's a big enough zipper. I can just throw them in there and they stay flat and they really just don't take up any room. But hopefully I won't forget that they're there. <laughs> okay, and then I also just like to keep something like a simple snack on us. Uh, this bag used to be full, so obviously it comes in handy. But these are just some veggie straws. Uh, sometimes when we're out at a restaurant, Tegan will get a little antsy once she gets sat down in her high chair. She wants to eat. So these come in handy. I can just throw her some veggie straws. Say, here you go. Let's wait on your food. But you can have a little snackaroo while we wait. And I just keep those thrown in the bag too. Okay, so now that the bag is full, it is fairly heavy. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it fits everything. It's not just there's not much room left, but it fits everything that I need. Um, obviously, I could use a smaller container than, than this for her formula. This has three separate compartments for formula, um, and we're never out long enough to need more than one. Like, if we go on a big trip, I might need this, but I could contain this down to a smaller size if I needed to. Um, but anyways. By the way, this video is not sponsored. This diaper bag, I just thought it was so cute. And I just really wanted to show you it and talk about it, um, especially for the price and for it being kind of a dupe for a more expensive bag. I just thought it was really cool, and it's very cute. It feels very sturdy, um, and it's really big. I just, I really like it. So another thing I wanted to note on was this back pouch back here. I, what is this zipper? You also have a zipper back here. I don't have anything in there, but I forgot to mention that. But, sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> this back pouch back here, I didn't think would fit a laptop, but it definitely can. Now, this laptop is from work. It's not a huge laptop. I'm going to show you the back of it because it has a sticker on it from work. But um, I'm working from home right now during this quarantine. And this laptop does fit in the back of my bag and I just throw it in here with the um, changing pad and it sticks out some, but I mean, not much. So I've been carrying my laptop to and from work in this bag and it's just been really handy, okay? So, and I can also still use it as a backpack with the laptop in there, so. Yeah, because that was one of the things I was looking for a review on when I saw it on Amazon, I was like, can I fit a laptop in here? I need to know. I'm sure it could fit on the inside too, but I like putting it here on the outside. It's very easily accessible. Okay, so yeah, that is my diaper bag. That is what I keep in my diaper bag. If there's anything I'm missing out of my diaper bag that you think I need, let me know down in the comments because I'm sure there's things that I'm missing. But um, yeah, I really like the bag so far. And like I said, it was a pretty good price for a purse and a diaper bag combined. So, so anyways, that is all I have for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more baby related content, please let me know what you want to see because I would love to do that for you. Um, her first birthday is coming up, so I might be throwing in some birthday stuff here and there, but we'll see, just stay tuned. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.